What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and today we're gonna unbox my new amp. So the reason why I got this is actually for two reasons. I had previously a a Galen Kruger MB Fusion 500 which I really really liked. Fuck, if I get to open this. Which I really really liked. It sounded great, it was light, it was portable and you know it delivered other gigs every time but there were two main problems which kind of bothered me a little bit and that's the reason why I got this the first one was that I kind of grew tired of the sound it had plenty of bottom end plenty of bottom end and a lot of definition however the treble or you know the higher frequencies where I don't know a bit too harsh for my taste I think um, not to say that Galen Cruz sound bad at all but I don't know they just um, in the beginning I liked them but then it kind of you know grew old on me so I was on the market for a second amp and the other reason is because the fan on that thing was loud like loud and if you're on the stage, that's not a problem because as soon as you get a drummer, it's covered, you know, you don't have to worry about it. But if you play in a small cafe or even in your room to practice, you know, the thing would kick on and it would like zzzz. You could hear it like from my room to the kitchen with door closed. So it was pretty annoying. And um, that was like, that was actually the main factor why I decided to change amps because if it didn't have that loud fan, I could have just, you know, stuck a preamp to the preamp section, to the line input, and change the way the voicing works. But that power amp was just too, I mean, sorry, that, that fan was just way, way too loud. So I was, I checked amps for a long time and well send me money of course and well <laughs> and it came to like five options one was a Glockenklan Blue Sky or the Glockenklan Steenhauer the other one being a Aguilar a AG700 of course if, if you've seen my videos you know I really like Dark Glass that was also one of the options the M900 uh, a Mesa Boogie D800 or the D800 Plus and here made in Germany the Eich T900 and I went to a music store to try a couple of them and I found something pretty interesting uh, which was that a lot of amps have an you know an inbuilt mid like low mid bass boost which um, if that's what you like go ahead you know that's your thing and I mainly use my amp to set my my stage sound so what I send to FOH FOH I'm speaking German here to front of house uh, is different to what I you know dial in on stage because I have to you know adjust accordingly so I wouldn't want to you know color things too much for me on stage and I decided to go with an amp that's pretty transparent so this is what I got it is a big package I think this is five kilos, so 10 pounds, give or take. And now I'm gonna open it up. I'm excited as hell. So, here you go. And what I got is, I think this is a Mesa Boogie D800 Plus. So, I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Do we have here? Comes a power cable with instructions as well. <laughs> what to say? Read and follow the instructions on proper usage. Packaging. And this is the amp, I'm gonna assume. So I'm gonna put it on the floor to take it out. There it is. Now. Mm 
very, here you go, take a look at it. Very nice, feels pretty solid and it's really light. <laughs> this thing is super light. It also has a handle here for you to carry, which is why I guess it's called the subway. Uh, it's supposed to be light to be able to take it everywhere. It comes with a inspection tag. It's got a, a lot of knobs, <laughs> I know, you can see them. A lot of knobs and on the back. Get a lot of inputs as well. And there's also another thing on the back, so on the package, I mean, which is a portable bag for the amp. I'm gonna take it out. That's pretty nice to mess up, you know. A lot of companies sell you the bag, which I'm assuming it's in the price, you know, but that way you don't have to order it. Uh, separately, so you get the box for the amp. Let's take a look at it. It is padded, it's lightly padded. It could be more, but you know, to carry it around, if you're careful, it's an amp, you know, you're not throwing it around. Uh, I'm gonna get a, a hard case probably sometime soon, but this is gonna do the trick for now. And this comes with a shoulder strap, Mesa. I'm gonna do a full review of the amp once I, you know, um, got a little more time, but I'm just gonna tell you why I go for this one. And the thing is, you've got, you know, your input, that's normal volume, treble, bass, you know, mids, but you've got two variable mid frequencies. But the coolest thing on this amp, in my opinion, is that you've got a variable high pass filter, which definitely does great things. And you've also got a deep switch, a bright switch, which I tested at the store, and I have to admit, this is the first bright switch that doesn't make, you know, my face cringe. Uh, a lot of bright switches on amps are just way too harsh, and this one was pretty pretty smooth. You you notice a difference in, in top end, but it's not like abrasive or like harsh. You know, it's like pretty musical. And the other reason, um, which I read a lot about, is um, well, mainly you've got two ohms um, function, so four or eight or two. And the other thing is that the knobs are pretty usable. You know, you've got the whole range of the, of the knob to EQ your stuff because some amps, you know, you turn like one millimeter and it's just like extremely loud or the bass is just way too much so you can't, you can't use it. On this one I cranked the bass and it was still, it was fat, you know, but it was still musical while not sounding muddy and that, I think that's a great, great function. So. I'm probably going to play it in on my own and I'll show you guys how it sounds on the next video. So stay tuned for that, take care, enjoy your summer, it's super hot in here, you can see because of not wearing any sleeves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.